Now that you know how to use the log table zero key, you can easily solve integers like this one, the integer of x to the power of 7. By using the power rule, we know that the integer of x to the n is x to the n plus 1 over n plus 1. Therefore, the integer of x to the 7 is x to the 8 over 8 plus c. But what happens if we're given something like the integral of 2x minus 3 to the 7 dx? If you look at both, both are the integral of a power. However, in the second one, you cannot apply the log tables directly. In order to solve the second one, we are going to apply a technique that is called substitution. You can see substitution as the integration version of the chain rule. We will apply the substitution technique anytime our integral is given in the form f of g of x by g prime of x. Anytime you have a function inside a function, remember that is the composition between two functions, or also we have the derivative of the inside function. When we set the derivative of the inside function, we mean the derivative or almost said most of the time we are not going to have the full derivative of g of x inside. However, if the derivative of g of x is a multiple of what appears inside the integral, you can still apply the substitution technique. Having a look at the following examples will help you to understand this. In the first case, we have the integral of x squared plus 1 to the 3 by x dx. So if you realize x squared plus 1 to the 3 is the composition between two functions. A function g of x, which is x squared plus 1, and a function f of x, which is x to the 3. As x squared plus 1 to the 3 is nothing else but putting x squared plus 1, which is g of x, inside f. Therefore, you have the composition between two functions. The only thing left to check if substitution is the right technique to apply would be who is the derivative of g and to think about do we have the derivative of g inside. In this case the derivative of g is just 2x. If you have a look inside the integral we have an x multiplying and if you realize the derivative of g is a multiple of that x here. As if you multiply this x by 2, you will get 2x. Therefore, you do have the derivative of g of x inside. And substitution would be the right technique to apply. If we have a look at the second integral, you will see that we have the integral of e to the 3x plus 1. So in this case, we can see two functions, g of x, which is 3x plus 1, and that function has been put inside another one, f of x, which is e to the x. Therefore, we do have the composition between two functions. Now, the last thing to check would be who is the derivative of g and do we have the derivative of g inside? In this case, the derivative of g is simply a 3. If you think about your integral as e to the 3x plus 1 by 1 dx, you will realize that the derivative of g is again a multiple of that one here because if you multiply 1 by a constant 3 you will get the derivative of g. Therefore in this case substitution will work too. 
We will see this in the next video. But what happens when you apply the substitution technique is that you rewrite your integral in terms of a new variable that we usually call u. After rewriting your integral, the new integral obtained can be solved by direct integration.